wineries, breweries, events, and more. Maya Acosta joined today on this Thursday with Claire Scotty. Claire, how are you? I'm doing great. We're feeling some heat. Yes. Yes. Things are heating up. Yes. As is the uh, event season. Yes. Oh my gosh. Before we started recording, I I was numbering (laughs) all the things and I have more than 20 items happening this month and a lot of them are happening this weekend. Wonderful. We have plenty of stuff to do. Um, I am looking at your notes and it makes me think, I don't know if you've seen the meme where... Charlie Day is standing at the whiteboard with all of the things going on and he's trying to make it make sense. And uh, this is kind of the notes. That's (laughs) accurate. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Just of the long list of uh, events and activities that you can partake in this month and this coming weekend. Yes. All right. So let's jump right in. Yes. Um, Our local vineyards have wonderful things happening this weekend. Tehachapi Winery has their happy hour Fridays with 20% off wine purchases. And they always have amazing entertainment happening all throughout the weekend. And they have charcuterie boxes and Mosner sandwiches available as well Friday through Sunday. Awesome. Yes. Dorner Family Vineyard has Kerry Park playing on Saturday and Dave Mordigian playing on Sunday. They have their charcuterie boxes, dipping trays, Italian subs, gelato, slushies. Oh my goodness. So good. And so refreshing on these hot summer, late spring days. And on June 9th, they have that wine blending class happening at 2 p.m., $50 a person, and you get to go down into the wine the wine room, <laughs> the wine cellar, and taste the different wines, and then figure out what blend you want to create and create your own label. I love so, that. So, yeah, it's an amazing experience, and people pay hundreds of dollars for this experience up in Davis or, you know, Napa or Paso, sure. and so this is a really really fun opportunity. And Mike Dorner is very, very, very educated and knowledgeable in winemaking. So yeah. And what a talking piece too. You have people come over and you have your own labeled bottle of wine that you can talk about, like the professional that you will be after this uh, little class (laughs) and uh, be able to impress all of your guests with your wine blending skills and um, knowledge about the different local wines we have right here. Yes. Woo. So if you are interested, please text 760-297-0426 to get more details and to register. Tatchby Wine and Cattle Company has their wine club pickup weekend. Woo-hoo. Yes. So exciting. On Friday, they have Guitar Ted playing from three to six. Saturday, Dave Mordigian comes back for two to five. And then on Sunday, Joey Strader comes back and she's playing from two to five as well. Um, This event is open to the public. So come on over and taste some of that award-winning delicious wine. And if you're not a member, you might be inspired to become a member. Yes. (laughs) And they have a wonderful menu this weekend. They have their tri-tip sandwiches, smash burgers, a summer salad, charcuterie boards, chili size, and chili dogs all righty perfect summer food Mm -hmm. (laughs) and then over at triassic they have a teacher savings day on friday congratulations to all those teachers out there where friday is your last day for this year oh man and you get some summer break time some much deserved summer break time they made it yes you made it (laughs) you've been doing an amazing job out there and thank you so much for educating the children in our community so head over to triassic to enjoy 30 percent off wine purchases awesome and then on saturday bear mountain boys will be playing at 3 30 and on sunday carrie park will be there at 3.30 and charcuterie boxes will be available all throughout the weekend. Los Viajeros has a really, really fun Mediterranean dinner coming up July 13th. And I'm telling you this now because tickets are already sold out. Oh my God. Not sold out. Sorry. They, like there's like five left. Wow. <laughs> so um, they, they're going like hotcakes and it's <laughs> a, such a fun event. So um, please head over to Los Viajeros vineyard.com that's l-o-s-v-i-a-j-e-r-o-s vineyard.com grab those tickets it's going to be so good and then over at Stray Leaves, they will be open during Farmer's Market. They're very excited. They're open Thursday through Saturday from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. And they are offering a delicious summer sangria. Ooh, yes, refreshing. A, a new item on the menu. 
Heading over to our breweries, West Lane has Maria's Kitchen serving up delicious food on Wednesday and Friday this week. Um, and then every Wednesday, they have Frisbee golf happening, tournaments, prizes, beer, so much fun. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger every week. And then on Thursday, they have Good Food Gang, hashtag you want to eat like this. And they have a happy hour for all of those people and ready to enjoy some summertime beer. And then they do have live entertainment on Saturday. Local Craft Beer has their musical open mic night every Thursday. Friday through Sunday, Lupita's Hot Tamales is there. And every Wednesday, Geeks Who Drink Trivia Night at 6.30. We know that the first Friday of every month brings so much celebration and yes. so much fun. And this month, we you guys heard from TVAA and two wonderful local artists, Seda Wolf and Cora Sweeney. They will be at the first Friday at Gallery and Gifts. So super excited. This is from four to seven. There's refreshments, there's wine, and you get to meet these artists, see their beautiful works, learn a little bit about it, and maybe be inspired to bring some home. Yes, of course. Very uh, very fun event. And if you want to hear more, the Hatchpod, we've got the whole episode on us. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> the Attachby Arts Center also has their first Friday where they also have refreshments and um, all kinds of games and fun things. And you get to also meet a lot of their local artists as well. The American Legion has their bingo night first Yay. Friday. All Always a huge hit and big prizes going home to those winners. Our local public library has a bunch of fun new things happening for summer to keep everybody engaged. So on Thursday at noon, they have trivia. At 2 p.m., make a reading journal. Super fun. And then at 4 p.m., crochet club. Friday, they have a family story time at 11. Recycled fairy house. So oh. a fun craft, All right. with, including fairies, which my daughter would love. <laughs> That's at 2 p.m. At 4 p.m., they have a cookie decorating class. And then on Saturday, they have summer reading challenge starting at 11. So head on over. There's a lot of really great opportunities for kids to read all throughout the summer and get prizes and be rewarded for that hard work. They have a caricature workshop happening at 1130 by Dr. Reyes. I'm very excited. <laughs> Caricatures are super, super fun. Yes. <laughs> it's always, um, you always wonder, okay, what's my trait that they're going to pull out and maybe poke fun at? Um, right? It's a little humbling, but very funny, especially if you're there with friends and family. It's like, oh, oh yeah. Fine. Right. You can all laugh at each other. <laughs> yeah. and, and then, yeah, by the end, everybody's having a good time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> On Tuesday next week, they have preschool story time at 11, lunch at 1130 every day, Tuesday through Saturday for those kiddos. And then they have a financial literacy for kids a class at 1230 on Tuesday. 2 p.m. will have Crafternoon and 4 p.m. will have ASL Club. So it's going to be hopping yeah. on Tuesday next week. Wednesday at 1230, they have a game. So come on over and see what kind of game they're going to be playing. At 2, Lego Club happens. And at 4, Family Movie. And Thursday next week, they have Trivia again at 1230. And then Kitty Carew which like kitty as in kid <laughs> Karoo. I don't know what that is, but it sounds really interesting. Mm -hmm. That's at three. And then crochet club happens at five again. All right. June 5th, the Adventist health celebrated their fifth year anniversary. Congratulations. I mean, five years has gone by so fast. Um, so wonderful turnout. Everyone had a really great time and the appreciation was just outstanding. We've heard nothing but good things about Adventist and the amazing job they're doing over there. Yeah. So. And it's a huge thing to have a hospital in a, a city our size, but I mean, they, they're serving really Eastern Kern a lot of the times and they're just a wonderful asset to our community and keeping us all healthy. Yes, absolutely. Thursday morning, June 6th, Rotary Tea Party happening for seniors. This, this is happening at the Woods Family Pavilion at 3 p.m. And the Woods Family Pavilion is located at 323 West F Street. Only $15, and it's going to be a really special, fun tea time. Uh, you can call 818 519-7144 to get those last minute tickets or you can come and uh, pay at the door and enjoy a little tea time. Awesome. 
On June 8th, we have Fiddler's Crossing. They are hosting Lisa Richards at 7 p.m. She is outstanding. I was watching some of the videos of her, and she is just so talented. Singer, songwriter, beautiful, beautiful lyrics and voice, and she's very talented with the instruments, and it's, it's going to be outstanding. It's only $30. This is invitation only. So if you go to fiddlerscrossing.com and request tickets, they'll send you all the information. 7 p.m. June 8th, Saturday. And then if you go to the VFW on Saturday, they have Angels Roost playing from 6 to 10. Uh, Free event. Head on over. Enjoy some really great company. And Angels Roost is another amazing band. Sweet Emotions, which is an Aerosmith tribute band, oh. is playing at P-Dubs Mountain Bowling on Saturday at 7 p.m. as well, and no cover charge for that. So we have a lot of fun bands coming and musicians, and it's just getting very musical yes. <laughs> this weekend. And then also on Saturday, Bright Creek Farm is having a very fun landscape design class with Anna Smith. She is a local landscape architect, and she helps many, many homeowners redesign their yard, their yards. And so whether it's um, local native plants, whether you want to put in a lawn and, and you know put in oak trees or however, whatever you envision, she can make it happen. So head over to Bright Creek at 10 a.m. It's $40, and you can learn all about landscape design from Anna. On June 13th, there's going to be the first movie in the park oh, yeah. by TVRPD. They are, will have it at Central Park, and Tashby Valley Healthcare District is sponsoring this movie. So that's going to be so fun. They're starting at 8.30. There's concessions, and you're going to be seeing The Goonies. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. One of my right? favorite movies. <laughs> I'm going to have to go. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it just brings me back to my tiny days and, <laughs> and watching The Goonies and being scared and interested. And, yeah. and laughing hysterically and you know loving every character by the end yes so. <laughs> on june 11th there's going to be a friends of the depot a um historian his name is bob alvis he's going to come up to talk about the santa fe line from boron to mojave and the history behind that and how interesting that that whole thing is and and its history and why it plays such a pivotal role in our East Kern economy. <laughs> yeah, it is very interesting. Another plug for Tatchbot again. <laughs> we uh, we had Friends of the Depot and Bob Alvis on a couple weeks ago to talk about this presentation that Bob will be giving at the uh, next general membership meeting for FOTD. And uh, yeah, it's it's very exciting it's very interesting things that you just never would think about as to how our communities out here came to be and i mean the railroad had a huge role in that so very interesting uh would definitely recommend checking it out yes and it might be one of those things where you're listening and you're like ah i mean i'm not really exactly trains yeah but when you start hearing it and you're like whoa that played a huge pivotal role in our history and it gets very interesting very quickly Mm -hmm. so um i'd encourage everyone to head on out 6 p.m june 11th yes And then on June 14th, Best of Broadway starts at our local community theater at the BK. Tatchby Community Theater is hosting this wonderful show. It starts June 30th, and it'll go for, I think, three weeks. And they have their evening times, um, Fridays and Saturdays, and then their matinees on Sundays. It looks like amazing, amazing talent. I mean, our community just comes out and, you know, beautiful music and acting and the whole nine yards. So head on over to TCTA. They have a brand new website. It's easy to get tickets, easy to become a member and um, go grab those tickets before they sell out. Yes. Then on June 15th and 29th, Bright Creek Farm is hosting those delicious farm-to-table dinners. These are six courses, all ingredients from the farm. And they also have local wine, music. You sit outside underneath the warm stars. And it just it's, it's really a truly magical evening. And if you haven't ever had one of those dinners, please, please go. I mean, it's so, so wonderful. And we have a lot of friends in the community who they go every year and sometimes they go twice. (laughs) It's $85 per person and you can call 661-972-7370 to get those tickets.
On June 15th in Bear Valley Springs, the Cultural Arts Association is throwing the Renaissance Fair. Yes, head on over there around 10 a.m. and see where it takes you, like what what time period you end up. (laughs) There's jousting, there's ale, there's, um, you know, princesses everywhere. I mean, it's fun for the whole family and kind of a, a fun, different opportunity to get out and get creative. Yes. And then on June 22nd, Sip and Savor with Tatsby Valley Parks and Recreation, they have this amazing event that they've been coordinating with the wine growers and with several local eateries up here. And it's an awesome opportunity to get out to Bright Lake, enjoy that beautiful view, and then enjoy three five ounce pours of local wine. You get to choose which vineyard you want to try and they're all going to be bringing their, you know, gold medals, silver medals, you know, all these amazing wines that you're not going to be able to taste anywhere else. And then there's going to be three large hors d'oeuvres. So by the time you're done, you're going to be full. (laughs) Um, But you get to taste from Prime Bar and Grill, Mosner Farms Catering and Kelsey's Restaurant. They're all bringing delicious items, and Kelsey's is finishing it off with a delicious cobbler, which I cannot wait to try. Awesome. (laughs) Yes, so this is $65. Right now they are running a special to save $10. And so head on over to tvrpd.com and grab those tickets, and you can can pick up tickets anywhere. Um, You don't have to try to pick them up the day before or a few days before. You can pick them up. Up the day of at the event. So um, it's just a wonderful opportunity to get out and enjoy more of Tehachapi. Yes. And then on June 22nd as well, the Tatchby Terror um, fundraiser is happening and they're going to do a big car wash. So for all those Halloween enthusiasts like myself, yes, you know, <laughs> Tatchby Terror puts on an amazing haunted house and it's a wonderful fundraiser to help people in our community. And so they are having it at Red House Barbecue. Red House Barbecue is hosting this event and it'll be from 11 to 2, $10.00. Go and support this wonderful organization and get your car washed. Yes. <laughs> I also, I know on June 22nd, that Saturday, we also have the Tatchby Amateur Radio Association doing their field day. Yes. Uh, so very exciting opportunity to go out and learn about ham radio, ham radio. and the importance of it uh, still in our world today despite all of the technology that we have ham radio is kind of it's it's there you know in times of emergency if all else fails you've got the radio there that can save the day and be a wonderful resource um for communication so that is 9 a.m saturday june 22nd in bear valley for more information be sure to go to their facebook and uh you can find out how to attend Yes, and I've been working on getting my ham radio license as well. It's very interesting, and I... I, I love the idea that, you know, you can get on these old ham radios. You know, if you guys have watched Stranger Things or, you know, some of these, you know, older shows or shows that are based in the 70s, you know, people are using ham radios to communicate. And you can communicate across the world. Yeah. And you can also communicate with the space station wow. as it's going over. You can have like a, a minute with an astronaut. I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> you don't crazy. have to pay for it. It's <laughs> Like, it's such an amazing thing. You just have to learn the science behind it. Mm. And this field day is an amazing opportunity to learn that science, have fun. I mean, don't get intimidated. It's, I mean, it's just thinking about things a little bit differently, but you're learning how the radio waves work and and how your radio picks that up and how you can utilize that to speak to people all over the place. Yes. Very exciting. So, yeah, super excited for them. We'll be there. It's going to be really, really fun. I'm going to have a very full day on the 22nd. (laughs) Um, There's also a job fair happening happening on the 22nd so anyone looking for a job head over to the aspen builders uh, gym on d street and um it'll be from 8 30 in the morning until one there are going to be several businesses out there looking for perfect candidates so you can also head over to the chamber if you want to get your resume kind of worked on and make sure it really is showing all of your best attributes and then you can kind of go through a few interview runs so you can practice if you're a little bit rusty So um, awesome opportunity, and we have some grand openings coming up. I mean, so many fun things happening. We'll talk more about that next week. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's everything I have. And I know that one of the biggest things happening, yes, Farmer's Market. Farmer's Market. It is here. If you're listening this morning, Thursday, June 6th, it is happening this evening, 4 to 7 p.m., right downtown on Green Street in Centennial Plaza. We are so excited. Uh, The the 
footprint of the farmer's market is going to be larger than in years past. And it's just going to be a wonderful opportunity to check out so many of our local um, farmers, our local crafters, our local food vendors, just so much. We're going to have a very uh, wide variety of people there selling their wares. We tried very hard to be as diverse as we could with our um, vendors. I mean, we had over 100 applicants. We narrowed it down to about 52, which is still a lot. Yeah, that's great. (laughs) Um, But most of these vendors are local as well. So right here in Tatchby or the greater Tatchby community. And we're just super excited. I mean, there is just there's going to be tons to do. We have our live music. Pat Kapla will be kicking us off. I'll be performing from 5 to 6.30 p.m. right there in Centennial Plaza. We have the aerial garden that's going to be doing some performances, which is new this year. Yay. Uh, you've likely seen them at other events, but we are very excited to have them every Thursday showing off their just crazy skills. I mean, every time <laughs> I'm you know, at, at these events working, but I have to stop and just enjoy because it is so impressive what these young girls and boys can do it is so cool just an amazing display of athleticism and and it's an art form too it really it's just, is it's very cool yes dancing in air <laughs> right. i mean it's it's insane and and the 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 strength that it takes to do it and the grace that they have and it's just mind blowing it really is yeah it's so fun yeah <laughs> Very excited for that. And um, although we will not have the sale of alcohol at this farmer's market this year, unfortunately, we have so many local businesses right there on Green Street. We have Petra's, Stray Leaves, of course, Buelna's, and then right across the railroad tracks, we have our breweries, LCB and West Lane Brewing that are ready to serve you beer, wine, and more. Um, if that's what you know, you're know you hoping to get during the farmer's market, you can absolutely do that and uh, enjoy all of the vendors and other businesses businesses are brick and mortars as well. I know some of our shops like Funky Junk will be doing some really cool specials during the farmer's market time to draw people in and show off the awesome things that they have selling um, at these different brick and mortar stores right around downtown. So yeah, just a wonderful opportunity to get downtown, check out everything that is to be offered and uh, we hope to see you there. Yes, and it's a wonderful opportunity because when you go to the farmer's market and you find all these amazing things and you have a great time and then maybe you're a little hungry afterwards, maybe you see a shop that you you know, haven't seen something in before and you're like, yeah. oh, I got to go check that out. People stay so much longer. You know, they come around 4.30, 5 o'clock and then there's they stay until 8 o'clock. Yeah. There's so much to do downtown and, and it's just fantastic. Yeah, it was it was cool. Our assistant city manager, Corey Costello, brought some numbers to a meeting that we had yesterday talking about the attendance of Farmer's Market. And I mean, it draws well over a thousand people every Thursday every night, which yes. is crazy. <laughs> and we hope that it brings more this year as well. But uh, in the in the data that Corey was able to collect, it shows that at least 20 percent of people that attend the farmer's market go to one of our other local businesses right after or before or during. So it's just a great way to bark economic vitality, to boost our local businesses and uh, just a great way to explore and support local. Absolutely. All right. And you have a big grand <laughs> opening happening on Monday. Yes, we have <laughs> more. So Woo. we have Valley Park. Finally, finally, finally. finally yay. <laughs> the grand opening of that will be Monday, June 10th at 10 a.m. We based on the TUSD schedule, we believe that this is the first day of summer break. So we hope to kick it off with a bang, um, inviting all of the community out to Valley Park, which is on Valley Boulevard and Aspen Drive. There's going to be a lot to do. So we're kicking it off at 10 a.m. There will be wet concrete for kids to come put their handprints in. And this is a wonderful way for these youth to memorialize their attendance at this event and and further attendance at the park so that they can come back, you know, five, 10 years later and say, oh my gosh, there's my little handprint when I was a little kid. (laughs) Yeah. And, you know, I was there when the park opened. So really cute way to to break in this park and celebrate it. In addition to that, we're going to have 200 soccer balls to give away. So thank you very much to Walmart for providing half of those soccer balls. We're super excited to be able to give those away to the kids. And there will also be free soccer clinics from the THS Boys and Girls Varsity Soccer Team. So we, we're just hoping <laughs> that kids can use this opportunity to you know, spark their interest in soccer. Maybe if they haven't ever played before or whatever that may be and uh, check out 
the playground that we have there, we have a really nice picnic gazebo area. And once the trees start to grow in, it's going to be very shaded and lots of green space. And it's just, it's a beautiful park. Every time we go, we just like have to take it all in. <laughs> so. oh, I love it. I love it. And so much thought and effort and time has gone into this. And every time I drive down Valley Boulevard, my daughter's sitting in the back and she's like, oh, it's almost there. Yes. They're getting closer. I can't wait. And she is so excited to put her hands in the concrete. I mean, she's already taken ownership. You know, it's like she she just loves what you guys have done and she's so excited. And I know many, 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 many residents in our community feel similarly. Yes. So what an amazing project. And it's going to be such a wonderful event on Monday. And I hope our community can come out and support because that's amazing. <laughs> yes, we're very excited. So again, Monday, May 10th, or sorry, Monday, June 10th at 10 a.m. We hope to see everybody there. And uh, yeah, then for the rest of the summer, I really hope and I'm sure that the, this park will be very well attended and used throughout the summer months. It's going to be a great new asset to the community. Yes. And the soccer field is a five side soccer field. Um, it's very safe. It's yes. kind of like in the back of the park. And so, you know, don't worry about soccer balls flying all over the place. Um, it's it, I mean, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful soccer field and something that this community has been wanting for years. <laughs> yes, absolutely. We're very excited. Um, yeah, it's going to be just a wonderful way to kick off summer. Yes, literally. <laughs> 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 well, great, Claire. I think that about concludes it. If you're listening, uh, again, I all plug that the farmer's market, if you weren't able to make it today, this is going to continue all the way until August 29th, every Thursday, aside from July 4th, 4 to 7 p.m., downtown Tashby. We hope to see you there. Uh, as always, thank you so much, Claire, for bringing in all of this information. There's a lot to do this month and beyond. Um, and if you are listening and have any questions or anything that you want added, be sure to email us, media at hbcityhall.com, and we can get that information added to our list. Claire, thank you. Yes, thank you. Always a pleasure to be here. All right, guys. We will catch you back here next time on Tatchbot. Bottom.